Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to hook up multiple computers to one printer and file sharing on a home network. Here we go. Now to get more than one computer set up onto one printer it's very easy and simple to do. Um, you probably already got you a small little network uh, set up anyways, especially if you have like a Xbox or a PlayStation or something like that uh, to that requires a router, okay? Or if you have more than one computer set up in your home. Uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration right here, or example of a uh, small network that's commonly in, in a home. Now, right here, we have a ca cable modem or DSL. Uh, of course, you stick your cable in, in the back of this, and plus your, you know, your power cord and everything. And you will stick uh, a uh, Cat5 cable or Ethernet cable, as everybody knows. As uh, you stick that in there, then you will uh, t go from there, and you will go to a router. If you don't have a router, you need to go ahead and go buy a router because you'll need a router to do this. Now, you got two choices on routers. Okay. Uh, you can have a, a wireless router, or you can have uh, just a regular router, uh, or hub, or switch, or whatever you want to use. Um, <clears throat> if you have a wireless router, you can go ahead and hook up, like say, your PlayStation 3, or your uh, your Wii, or uh, your laptop, uh, if, because most of the time those already have a wireless card built into them, so you can go ahead and hook those up wirelessly. But you don't want to hook it up that way. You can uh, just go ahead and directly hook it up. And in this diagram here, it pretty much shows you how to hook them all up. And you know, just pretty much follow this. Okay. Now, as far as your printer go, you want to hook your printer up directly to the main desktop computer. By the way, desktop computer, if you want it to be wire, uh, wireless, uh, you have to buy a wireless card for it. And, you know, you can install that into your computer. Uh, also, the same thing for Xbox 360, it does not have a internal wireless card, so you would need to hook that up directly or buy a wireless uh, uh, antenna uh, for it. Now, uh, back to the printer. The printer, you need to hook the printer up to the main desktop computer. You need to pick one computer, whether it's in your bedroom or your living room or whatever, that's going to be hooked up to that one, uh, that one printer. And then you can use all the other computers, like I say, if you have another laptop or another desktop in another room or something like that, you can hook up all those to, uh, to that one printer to where you can uh, just print, you know, print everything out through that main computer. Now, once you have that all hooked up, you need to go ahead and set, set everything up to be used. And to do that, you need to go to Start. Then you want to go to Computer. And you want to right-click on Computers. And you're going to go to properties. Now, what we're doing, oh, from there, you want to go to advanced system, system settings. Now, you want to go to where it says computer name. Okay. Once you're in computer name, what you want to do here is you want to change the work group because you want all your uh, computers onto one work group. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and change that. And uh, if you want to change your computer, you can do so right here. You can do so right here. And down here is where you change your work group name. You can name it whatever you want. Just whatever you name it, remember the spelling and everything. Okay, because you're gonna have to do the same to your other computers in your house. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel because I don't wanna I already got it set up. Once once you do that, it's gonna ask you to reboot your computer. Let go ahead and let it restart your computer. And once it, once it restarted and everything, uh, you're gonna have to go back to start. And then you want to go to uh, network. I know there's other ways of getting into it, but uh, this is faster for me. Then you want to go to network and sharing, which is a little button up top there. And then once you're there, you're going to go down a little bit to where it says sharing and discovery. Uh, then you want to go down to uh, uh, file sharing. You want to turn that on. Uh, public folder sharing, you can turn that on. Uh, it's going to say password required. Uh, that's because you know whenever so that way nobody can get into your computer and make sure you have a very good password too on your computer uh, printer uh, it's currently off you want to go ahead and 
click on uh, click on the off and turn it on and then hit apply and once you do that it should be ready also it's going to say password required too on a printer product because uh, that way you know no strangers can print off your uh, printer now the next thing you want to do you, you want to go to your other computer um, again I'm going to show you as a Vista example uh, of course you go to start and then you go to network and then it will show all the PCs that's on your uh, on your network here uh, you find a PC that uh, has the printer you click on that now once you click on it I didn't do it because I already got it set up but once you click on it it's going to ask for password uh, the computer name and password um, if you don't remember what your computer name is you go to start computer right click go down to properties uh, assist, advanced system settings and it'll tell you your computer name right here on the computers tab and it should be right here computers full name okay you just enter in the name part don't worry about the dash PC you ain't got to hit dash PC you just enter in you know whatever name that you have right there okay and once you do that enter in the password now when I say password I mean the same thing same password you use to log into your computer that's what I mean by password then the next thing you want to do is you want to go right here where it says HP photo smart well actually yours will probably be saying something different depending on what kind of uh, printer you have so whatever the name of your printer you want to click on that one it also it might have something like printers here don't click on that click on the name of that printer once you do that it's going to ask you to install the driver uh, go ahead and install the driver because it will not work unless you install the driver okay so whenever you get all your drivers installed and everything it should work the only thing you need to do next is open up let's say let's say notepad and you type something in doesn't matter what and uh, then you hit uh, print it might take a little while to get to the printer sometimes it goes a little slow but it'll, it'll, it'll go but right now it's my printer's printer it might be making some noises right now but it's printing and it's working and what I told it to print is pretty much print also um, I'll go right here you will get this right here come up At, after you install the driver and everything you should get this right here up uh, what you want to do you want to hit it on printer then you want to uh, set as default because you want to make make that printer the default printer and once you're done there it should be the default printer okay uh, now another thing about what we just did here as well is we went ahead and set up a network to where you can transfer uh, your files to each computer without having to use like a you know flash drive or something like that uh, so basically you know all you need to do is put files in the public folder and stuff um, let's say if I want to put a file in uh, uh, my other computer right here well basically what I could do I could put something in music pictures or videos or you know the downloads or whatever you know all I have to do let's say if I want to take a picture uh, and I want to send it to my other computer well I just click on it and drag it over there and voila my other computer will have that picture I just go to that computer um, I will go to start network uh, click on you know the uh, click on that computer mind you this is the computer that I'm on I mean my the main computer and there it is I should be able to do the same thing at that computer also let's say if I send something to myself well I will go back and go to my computer and go to my public folder and it should be right in there because I already did it right here uh, see this right here is what I sent from my computer to this computer I did that earlier and so that's pretty much how you set shell files between computers and stuff like that um, and also share uh, a printer within your network well I hope this helps you out and saves you some money that way you ain't gotta buy a printer for each computer in your house most of the time all you need is just one printer for each household you don't need to buy a whole bunch of printers and there you go. I hope this helps and I hope this saves you some money.